What comes next? We send it out to Tuscaloosa, Alabama. For those that didn't know, I had a, had a wrist injury. Um, for this, this lasted for a little while, and he promised me that um, that would get fixed. And uh, for uh, you know Clark to be here and, and to help me through um, those injuries, and actually, uh, I have two funny stories, but one Hunter actually got the bad end of, but uh, busted my eardrum about three days before SEC's last year, and. Clark's the one that had to deal with that, and, uh, and and while the team flew on a on a private jet to Sea Island, Hunter had to drive me eight hours, so um, couldn't find an airplane. But later found out that I was able to. <laughs> and uh, a little uh, a little behind the scenes, a couple people do know, but uh, I was actually at this past USAM, I was at. Uh, Dave and Buster's, and there's a little little clown game where clowns pop up and you throw a ball at it. And I was, you know, I was at uh, Corey was there and, and a couple other people, but I, I got done and literally couldn't pick up my shoulder, couldn't couldn't raise my arm. And uh, called Clark and immediately I got it's like, man, what, you know, what'd you do now? Um, and uh, he, he, you know, he he did whatever he did, all his crap that I had with me and. I was after the after the quarterfinals and came out in the semis and and couldn't feel a thing. So, thank you. Um, not a lot of people know that, but um, I seriously don't know if I'd have been able to continue to play through that. Um, <clears throat> and uh, to to GSC and and Kev for uh, dealing with everything that a lot of people don't see and and putting up with people that um, I don't have to put up with. Um, he's uh, he does a lot of work for me, and I, I can't thank him enough. He's he supported me from the very beginning, um, before uh, I think agents were allowed to, to follow. Kev was Kev was watching me, and um, you know I, I just want to thank him. And, and again, looking forward to, to going on this journey with with Kev. But uh, hopefully, um, I apologize if I'm if I'm missing anybody. Um, but I, I truly do have the best team, and I'm, I'm very grateful to, to say that, um, and I, I mean that wholeheartedly. But um, at this time, I do want to announce that um, I am turning professional. Um, I'm accepting my PGA Tour membership, and I'm going to debut at uh, the Pebble Beach AT&T Pro Am. Thank you. <clears throat> Questions for Nick only. Um, just raise your hand if you have a question. Bring a mic over. Let's start in the back of the room on the right. We got a mic coming your way, Brian. Nick, congratulations um, for someone I'm sure that's been playing golf and dreaming of this your whole life. Did you did you think it would be? at this age, at this time? Is that the dream? I mean, I know you've been in big tournaments to get to this point, but to be this age and to be able to do this in front of college teammates is pretty cool. Um, no, I, I had no idea. Uh, it's it's crazy that uh, Hunter and up, JP? Hunter, Hunter and Kev mentioned it. It's a, a week today that the first round started. and. A week ago, if you'd have told me that I had the opportunity to, to live out my dream as a 20-year-old, it's pretty surreal, but it's also scary. Uh, there's a lot of changes, and um, Coach Sewell has been been gracious enough. I'm going to continue to to live here and hang out with the guys, and and uh, and you know at least live out my some of my college life for the rest of this year. But um, I'd like to keep that. The same moving forward, but no, it's uh, it's an incredible opportunity, and I'm you know very grateful for it. Uh, Nick, you mentioned it's been a pretty chaotic time um, over the last few days. I just was wondering when you found the clarity to make this decision, and, and with whom you sort of found the clarity. Well, I I had said it in some interviews. There, there's a lot of people that this affected and, and one of the reasons I wanted to back out of Farmers was to come back and, and talk with coach and my family and my teammates. Um, it was and I, I had told them they, they were the what's up Grizz? Um, they were the, the first people that I had told on Tuesday. But it was the it was the easiest, hardest decision I've ever had to make by far. 
Um, it was clear that I did want to play professional golf, and it was a, a golden opportunity to do that um, with what the, the PGA Tour is, um, has provided. But telling them was was the hardest thing that I was leaving mid year and I wasn't going to get to play, you know, the rest of the season out with them. Um, obviously, I didn't plan on that. They didn't plan on that. And uh, I, it's just unfortunately, it's it's part of life. But um, like I said, I, I was given a, a really cool opportunity and I uh, wanted to try to chase that. Down the left side here, Chase. Nick, who did you lean on the most to help you make this decision? Um. My family and, and Coach Sewell, um, Brett, like, I mean, everybody. Um, everybody had a say, and uh, I was, you know, very fortunate that everybody had kind of had the same opinion about it. And, uh, you know, my, my teammates were awesome about it. They're, they're very supportive, and I think that, you know, kind of goes back to the family that, that Alim has. And, uh, they, like I said, they were uh, very supportive and, and wanted me to, to chase my dream. Standing up in the back left of the room there. Nick, congratulations. When when you're mentioning the likes of Phil Mickelson, Tiger Woods, in terms of what they've accomplished early in their careers, how much does that motivate you yourself to want to go be great? A lot, just because that's, you know, who I grew up watching. And that's who, if you, are you know, grew up playing golf, you always wanted to be like Tiger, be like Phil, and, and to be compared to them is why you know I, I practiced and, and work out and, and do everything that I, I do is to be on that level and be under that stage so to be uh, considered with with Tiger and Phil is pretty uh, pretty remarkable and um, I know 10 and 11 and 12 year old me would be would be pretty happy right now Second round left, Matthew. Yeah, Nick you're from Birmingham you lived in Huntsville you're going to school in Tuscaloosa what's it sort of been like being able to represent the state of Alabama here on the biggest stage um, it's, it's really cool. Um, you know, like I said, I, I grew up in Birmingham and, and grew up dreaming about coming to school here and, and playing golf for, for coach Sewell. He's obviously, he's got an incredible reputation for, for, uh, churning out tour players and, um, you know, played with two just in the tournament last week with Wilson for and, and Justin. So, um, to be able to do that and, and to represent Alabama and, and the University of Alabama a little bit moving forward is um, something that I always hold very close to me. And, um, you know, that's why that there's going to be a, a script day on my bag um, forever. Front row, Kirk. Uh, first of all, congratulations, Nick. Uh, that was exciting to watch and also interesting. I know golf, the kind of game it is, but it looked like the pros were really kind of cheering you on. They were. They, they had a, and, and Sam and Justin as well. They're obviously competing, and and they're you know it's it's a job. They're they're playing for their living and and playing for um, to win themselves. But kind of the way they treated me and, and rooted me on, especially the last couple of holes, was was really cool. And even throughout the week, the kind of you know good playing, keep it up, like rooting for you um, from all the guys was was really neat. And they didn't treat me any different because I had an A next to my name, and um, they you know they treated me like I was I was one of them, which was um, really cool and comfort and comforting for me. Nick, how good does it feel that the next time you win, you'll actually be able to touch the prize money? <clears throat> pretty cool, um, pretty cool. But I mean. Even just the opportunity to play there and against those guys was um, was worth the price of admission for me. And you know, if you had said I said it out there, would you take the prize money or went on the PGA Tour? I'd say went on the PGA Tour every time.